Yeah! Blue 42! Blue 42! Hot! Hot! Today we are making a box cake mix into a football cake. What? A football cake! Boom! Hey everybody, this is Elise Mayfield and welcome back to Smart Cookie. Today we are making a football cake. You could serve this at the Super Bowl that's coming up or if like you got kids that are in their Pee Wee Leagues or like you just like sports cakes, this is the cake for you, all right? We've got two bags of box cake mix that I'm just gonna pour right on in here in this beautiful milk glass bowl, yeah! We're just gonna go ahead and pour this right into the bowl of our sanding mixer. Here's our first trick. Um, instead of water, which is what they say on the back of the box, we're gonna go with whole milk. Yes, we are. I'm gonna start this guy on low, and we're gonna add all the eggs. All right, our other trick, we're adding, instead of vegetable oil or canola oil, we're gonna add melted butter instead. That's gonna give us so much more flavor. We're gonna add some extra salt to this. We're just gonna keep amping it up. We're also gonna add some more vanilla. I'm gonna crank this up a little bit. Woo! That's gonna go for two minutes. Hey y'all. Okay, great. So you can tell this is kind of lightened in color. It's gotten a little bit more fluffy. Ooh, I need one of those. Yeah, I caught it. <laughs> it was incredible. I did not think that was gonna happen. So we're gonna start with a one cup measure. I'm going, you know, overflowing a little bit. Trying to get toward you, B camera. And then we know our little six inch guy isn't gonna need as much. So now that we've got all our batter kind of out in our pans, I'm gonna spread this out into an even layer and then I'll show you my trick for getting air bubbles out. You gotta bang them on the countertop, so get a little, get a little aggression out. Easy peasy, like that's how easy it is to make a box cake mix even better. All you're doing is replacing your water with milk, your oil with butter, and adding a little salt and vanilla and suddenly your cake is gonna taste like a million bucks. Fact of the day, there are a lot of wedding cake bakers who used box cake mixes. Um, and they fix them up like this. So if that costs $700, then you can totally make a cake that tastes just as good. All right, we're gonna put these in the oven. These are gonna bake for like 25, 28 mean minutes. Minutes. <laughs> 25, 28 minutes. Am I French? I don't know, is it American football? <laughs> Look at that, everything's different. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. So I know that we used box cake mix to make these cakes, but I think that what really sells it is if you make your own buttercream. So this is a full pound of butter. I like to let this get a little fluffy before I start adding my powdered sugar in. All right, so now that that's starting, you can kind of tell like it's already, it's lightened in color a little bit, which is exactly what you want it to do. We're gonna start adding our powdered sugar slowly into the mix. You can't do it fast, because if you do, your powdered sugar is gonna go everywhere. We've already gotten flour on the AstroTurf, and I don't need another personal foul, so. <coughs> Lord have mercy. All right, that's getting a little thick. So we're gonna add a little bit of milk. Not much. We're also gonna go ahead and add our vanilla now. I'm gonna add a little bit more powdered sugar. All right, I think we're good. Cake, 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 cake. Cake, cake, cake. Great, so we've got super fluffy white frosting. It's exactly what we're looking for. So chocolate, we've got some melted chocolate. This is maybe about two ounces. And we're just gonna uh, take a little bit of this out of the bowl. I mean, why use brown food coloring when you can just use chocolate? Am I right or am I right? Great, so we're just gonna add a little bit of chocolate, I'm gonna start with that much. And we're just gonna give it a stir. And this is going to become our football. Ooh, I've got an interesting fact. The first recorded professional football player <laughs> is a guy named William Pudge Heffelfinger. I am not even kidding, I'm not making that up. And he was paid a $500, he had a $500 contract to play against one league, so they like poached him to be the ringer. Uh, but his name was Pudge. His name was Pudge. <laughs> We're gonna make some green frosting. That is gonna be our grass on the field. So we've got a football. We gotta have some grass on the field. 
And this is a leaf green, so we're going for like a classic color. So I'm using a toothpick. I'm just kind of dipping it in there. And I'm using a gel because um, it doesn't add any extra water content and you wanna make sure that your frosting stays nice and, and thick. Just like me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> your chocolate and your green, you're gonna come back to later. So you can put those to the side. We're gonna be just working with the white for now. Cake layers, these have been chilling. They are still a little cool. We wrapped them when they got to room temperature and then um, they have been cooling overnight. So we're gonna unwrap and trim the layers. Trim those layers. So we're just trying to make these even. That's pretty good. So I do this, I usually find that like where the low point is and then that's kind of like where we're gonna try to get the rest of the cake to meet. So I use an ice cream scoop because then you know that you've got the exact same amount of frosting in between each layer, right? Genius, okay. So this will be our frosting in between. We're just going with the plain old white. Now we're gonna stack our next one. And I like to go upside down so that you know you have a flat layer. So we'll just spread the frosting out evenly. And one more and I'm going upside down again. We're gonna use a little bit more this time of frosting. So using my offset, I'm gonna start to smooth this out. And I'm just using kind of the momentum of my cake plate to push this over the side. Okay. This is a hot mess, it's supposed to look like that. Don't worry about it. Final step, I'm gonna use a bench scraper. Uh, this is probably my favorite kitchen tool and I'm just gonna use it to take any excess frosting off of the cake. This guy's gonna go in the fridge for about a half hour to chill and then we're gonna come back, put some grass on there, get a tiny football cake going and then we'll be ready for the Super Bowl. This cake has been chilling like a villain for a whole half hour. So our frosting, now that it's chilled, you can tell like I'm touching this and it doesn't even make like a, a dent in it. And that's exactly what you want. Plop. Doing great. We're just gonna do what we did before. We're gonna start at the top, making it even up here. You'll see it's kinda starting to fall off the sides and that's exactly what you want. Great, this is looking good. This is fantastic, I like it, it's doing well. Here's how we're gonna make grass, all right? Um, all we're gonna do is take a small offset spatula and we're just gonna tap this frosting, just to make it stick up. We're just gonna tap, tap, tap it, tap. Tippity tap, tap, making grass. And then we're just gonna do the same thing to the top. So, there's our cake. Kinda looks like grass. And now it is time to make our shining masterpiece our little football cake. So this is our six inch layer that we've been neglecting. All we're gonna do is cut about an inch wide piece out of this cake, out of the middle, we're gonna take it out. Watch this. Football, boom! Flag on the play, that's awesome. Then we're just gonna frost this little, little baby cake. And you don't have to get this perfect right now, you're just getting it in a spot where you can transfer it to the top. Here we go, we're gonna put this on top of this. It's happening. I'm gonna use my little spatula. Oh God, okay. And then we're gonna go. <sighs> Field goal! <sighs> now, I will tell you, this does not have to be perfect. <laughs> we are not professional cake decorators here. We want the semblance of a football. <laughs> All right, final, final things. Add my little laces on top. We're just gonna go right in the middle. This is a three inch round tip. And now we're gonna draw the big white lines that are on the side of the cake. One more. Football cake, yay! Sports! Now I think that this cake would be the perfect centerpiece for your Super Bowl party or any football party. It's super fun. It's easier than it looks and it's really tasty. So I hope that you'll enjoy this at your next football party. Let me know how it goes. If you bake this cake, please, please, please post a picture to our page and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those things. Let us know how it goes and happy Super Bowl.